All right, man, we here, we, oh, this chair is not right. We here, we back. Um, and then you can see a little bit of white over here. I'm sure that's happened in other videos. I'm just noticing it now. I'm doing this very quickly. It's the middle of the night. And to give you um, background on what's happening, I might stay up all night because uh, I'm nervous I have a gas leak here. I have no reason to believe other than it smells weird because everything's off. But it's too late to call the building and figure it out, so the only hope is to stay awake so that I make sure nobody in the apartment dies. Because I can't afford to get a hotel. That's not the point of this video, but if I disappear, you'll know why. Um, we're here to review The Northman, which I just saw. I know I've been saying and preaching in the last few videos that I'm going to see everything everywhere all at once. And I tried tonight. I wanted to see it in chronological order because these are the two movies that have come out that are on my list. And I wanted to see them as they came out, which obviously everything everywhere all at once came out first. Went there to see it tonight. We, me and my girlfriend actually scootered there and we're behind schedule. So um, we got there too late to see everything everywhere, but we did get there in time to see the Northman. So we saw that, excuse me. I'm very happy that we did see that. Uh, it was, for those of you who don't know, the story is basically the uh, tale that Shakespeare based Hamlet off of. I was of the, knowledge that Hamlet had just created the story for Hamlet because that was already really way back in the day I, I didn't know apparently this story came before that even happened and this is what Hamlet based it off of um the story of Amleth not Hamlet Amleth and it takes place in Iceland and it's essentially the same exact story except for those of you who know Hamlet there is no Ophelia character who's like in love with Hamlet and he turns her away she gets depressed she kills herself she doesn't he doesn't kill her mother no Amleth just has a love interest which is Anya Taylor-Joy Amleth is played by Alexander Skarsgård. Perfect casting for both parts. Uh, then Amleth's, mo Amleth's mother is played by Nicole Kidman. Funny, because her and Skarsgård are in Big Little Lies together and different dynamic. It's almost the opposite now, where like she's the bad guy, whatever. Um, and then the uncle is played by an actor who I should have looked up his name, but I don't remember it. And then Amleth's father is played by Ethan Hawke, who was only in the beginning. Uh, obviously, if you know the story of Hamlet, this one follows that where the uncle kills the father, but you actually see it happen. The son, sorry, the door's open because I'm airing it out due to the probably non-existent gas leak. Um, but yeah, broad strokes, same thing. Some things are different. Again, there's no Ophelia character that kills herself. Um, spoiler alerts for anybody that hasn't seen it. Um, at the end, Amleth's, his whole destiny as Hamlet's is, is to avenge his father's death. They're very forward with this even so more than hamlet which is crazy because shakespeare literally writes people's thoughts out loud so it's not much hidden but it's like here it's literally you he sees his father die right after his father has now like sworn him in as the heir to the throne you watch him get his head cut off and right before it happens the father's like oh and you know if i you're like the only heir to the throne and if i die your only purpose in life your destiny your fate is to murder whoever kills me that's the only purpose for your life if I were to die before of like nothing thing that's not natural causes. If somebody kills me, you gotta kill them and that's your only purpose. And they follow that. That ends up being his whole journey. He falls in love and Anya Taylor-Joy's character gets pregnant. You find that out right at the last second as they're like running away and he finds out that his mother is like in Hamlet, turned her back and, and this they're really bad. We're like, you find out that the mother was the one that kind of constructed the whole thing. She hated the father and was a slave of his at one point and he got her pregnant and that's the only reason that all this happened is that he was, I don't know if he was raping her, but he was having sex with her as she was a slave, got her pregnant, they got married, Amleth was born. She hated him, loved his brother, convinced the brother to kill him and to kill Amleth. And then, well, she didn't convince him to kill Amleth, but he was like, I'm gonna have to. And she was like, yeah, sure, fine, go for it. And she confesses all this when Amleth comes back to save her. She's basically like, no, man, I set the whole thing up. And then uh, he runs away, it's kind of like, what am I gonna do now? He's running away with Anya Taylor-Joy's character, who's like his love and just kind of snaps into it he like gives her a kiss in the neck and he has these like flashes the whole time about his fate and when he kisses her he like has this flash where he sees that his bloodline is in her and he realizes she's pregnant with twins of his who are going to be the heirs to the throne but he's got it in order for that to happen he's got to kill this guy and so then he goes that's my fate he knows he's going to die doing it because if that's his fate it's like once he fulfills it his purpose is over so he goes he uh, is looking for his stepfather or whatever, his uncle, his stepfather, his uncle. Um, I'm giving a lot of spoilers here, whatever. Um, stumbles upon the mother who's protecting the kid, who like the kid that her, she's not with the uncle, who I was hoping the whole time was going to die because who is this kid? Um, 
she jumps on his back or not jumps on his back but attacks him he kills her then the kid jumps on his back and like boom 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 starts attacking him the mom got a hit on him with a sword too so he's already all cut up the kid's like stabbing him all the back so he's gonna bleed out at this point he kills the kid easily then the uncle comes in takes the bodies of his dead ones and says i'll see you in hell which you think means like hell but it's actually h-e-l and it's just a place near a volcano they meet there they um fight to the death and literally kill each other at the same time he kill he sticks hamlet through its heart at the same time the hamlet beheads him it's a cool moment and uh that's how he dies he fulfills his destiny and then we see him riding off into heaven uh assuming that his family's not going to take over the, the throne as it should be that's broad strokes the purpose i think it was really good the score is fantastic casting was incredible the accents are very confusing because at the beginning you think before you know it's in iceland you think they're all irish and then you realize oh it's iceland so their accents aren't off or maybe they are i don't know um but the casting overall is very very good the acting is very good they don't ask too much of them i think the plot takes care of itself um the action scenes are very good the, the like fighting the battles i think battles but the fight scenes the confrontational scenes are amazing the cinematography is great the direction is fantastic robert eggers does it again and um yeah man i think the only fault i have is and the only reason i gave it four stars on letterboxd only reason i didn't rate it higher is because while it does move there are points where nothing's happening and it does drag and i was like if i weren't somebody who is i'm not a cinephile i'm like the best casual fan you'll ever see because i don't go by like the i'm critical but it's like i don't judge things the same way like these cinephiles do where it's like they have to have this or it's whatever I'm very imbalanced and inconsistent with that stuff. And in this, I stuck with it even through that, but I was like, somebody who isn't committed to this story the way I am would be confused by this language. And in these moments where it's depending on just the language and nothing else is happening, it drags. And so I was like, you really feel the two and a half hour runtime or whatever it is. Um, and so that's the only kind of setback. And I was like, oh, I can't give it anything more than a four because it is kind of something where I was like, they didn't need to do that for me. I was like, for some people, they might have, but the people that they're also doing that for, as far as making them understand what's going on, are the people who are going to check out in those moments. So I think that was a hard, they're stuck between a rock and a hard place there because of the subject matter. But uh, overall, I really, really loved it. it. Again, like I said, I posted the video about my uh, most anticipated, and this was top five. So, man, this is like really strong start. I'm really glad I surprisingly got to see it tonight. I thought it was going to be a few nights before I got to see it. And... Um, I really, really enjoyed it. It's something that, especially now I'm even, it's only the night of, and it's like every hour that passes since I've seen it, I'm liking it a little bit more. It's a lot like the tragedy of Macbeth in that way because it had a lot of the same strengths. Even the score and just kind of the sound uh, editing that they had going on, the sound mixing, fantastic. I loved all of it. They really, they did a great job bringing you into the world, which you need with something like this. And um, you will be seeing it in my awards later. I don't think it's going to have the legs to stand up for the Oscars, much like Robert Eggers' career in the past. Um, but I don't think that's why he does this. Uh, I know box office, it's not doing well, but that's just because it's a hard one to kind of get a crowd into. I really liked it. So I know it's going to last the, the uh, test of time for me, and it's going to be seen in my awards later this year on a lot of levels. And right now, it's the best thing I've seen so far this year. So for Batman fans, I'm sorry, but this is just a better film, in my opinion. Again, I'm just one person. But that is The Northman. Please go check it out. It's in theaters. It is not streaming anywhere yet, nor will it be for a long time, I don't think. So please, please, please go to the theaters and see it. It's meant to be seen in theaters and you will not regret it. I promise you. The Northman by Robert Eggers. Go check it out. Four out of five stars. See it today.